Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back. What up? Um, today, what an exciting day. This is all happening. I've been thinking about this for a long time. I'm gonna be dissolving my lip filler and starting fresh um, with a new aesthetic specialist. Here I am, fresh faced, no makeup. Um, I'm in the window, so it's like natural lighting. You guys see, this is my lips, the before. I don't think my lips look awful. I don't think I look botched by any means. Um, I just feel like over time, sometimes when you constantly are getting filler, um, things may shift and I don't know. I just, I met with my new girl. Her name is Gabby. You guys will meet her soon. Um, I actually have to get going, but basically we decided it will be nice to start fresh completely. Um, I do feel like there are some areas where maybe my filler has shifted or traveled outside of my vermilion border. Um, which over time, like it doesn't look really bad right now. I don't think if you're just looking at me, if you're not in the aesthetic space, um, you know, you probably wouldn't notice it. But let's keep in mind, I did work at a med spa for about a year um, and I was like extensively trained on what to look for when it comes to symmetry and things like that. I'll of course have all the information of everything um, below and talk to you guys just more about the decision of why and stuff. I should have started filming this earlier but I have to get going for my appointment. Um, and we'll chat. We'll chat about why. We'll chat about my game plan. I have this whole plan um, for fillers, Botox, like all the things I want to do. You know what? If you don't like fillers, you don't like Botox, you don't like cosmetic procedures, this video is not for you. Please don't watch it. It's been almost a year since I have had anything done. It was May of last year, I want to say, like late May, June. Um, so yeah, it's been like 11 months basically so this is just where we're at again I don't think my lips look bad I don't think it's like anything anyone would notice except for the fact that I constantly look at myself every day you know um and I just want to refine things and start fresh so I am really looking forward to that um yeah and I actually think I just got this huge package in the mail which is going to be a separate video by the way guys because um podcast a la share is coming soon that's not the name but <laughs> um anyway i'm gonna get that package i'm gonna get in the car we're gonna go do this i'm nervous i've never had this done before um but we'll talk more about it when we get there so yeah all right hey guys we're in the office and i'm here with gabrielle hi she is going to be my new injector i'm so excited we had a whole consultation talked about the plan which i'll tell you guys more about later um, but yeah, so today we are dissolving, as I mentioned, and I'm excited, nervous, all the things. So excited. Yeah, but it's going to be good for a fresh start. Um, so I thought maybe, can you explain a little bit more about it just for them? Because she obviously has all the lingo and the good facts, so. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Cool. So, our lovely patient here, she does have a lot of accumulated filler over the years. Filler is made of hyaluronic acid, so in order to dissolve it or to kind of, you know, go back in time and get rid of it, we can use a product called Hyalidex. The medical term is hyaluronidase. It is an enzyme and essentially we inject it and it works its way in and really just breaks down all the hyaluronic acid filler. So afterwards, today you'll be a little swollen, mm -hmm. nothing that you can't live with <laughs> um but yeah she's gonna be perfect and then we give it like a good two three weeks mm -hmm. breaks down all the filler um your filler will actually be broken down completely within the next 24 hours after oh we gosh. do the highland x today wow. we just make sure you wait a good amount of time let everything settle and then we can come back in and we will refill her lips yay awesome i'm so excited so we're gonna numb and i'll show you guys a little bit and don't worry i will have like a needle warning in case any of you want to fast forward through that part so yeah also i'll be sure and put all of her information um in the description box you guys can check her out if you're in the area and you want to come see her yay awesome
Oh you guys, she's like such an angel, I swear. She's so sweet and good at this. <laughs> if there was even a way to be good at this, like <laughs> we're making it as comfortable as possible. Thank you. Yeah. Woo, this is a uh, experience variety. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I'm gonna wipe your and my little tear. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Okay. Are we doing like the, the bottom or the center? We're gonna do, I'm gonna go towards the center. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. We're swollen and I survived, you guys. <laughs> it actually wasn't that bad, I feel like. Like it was, it was painful, but not to the point where I was like, get me out of here, like, you know. <laughs> But Good. yeah, you think it went well? Yes, I did. She did okay. seriously amazing. Yeah, it definitely, it's just a little uncomfortable but tolerable. Yeah, she was a trooper through it. And then now the fun mm -hmm. part begins, where mm -hmm. everything breaks down, and then we can start from a clean slate. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yay! And we yeah. ended up doing two, right? Yes. Um, two. We did two vials, vials. of Highland X. Okay. Yeah. Cool. She needed a lot. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of work to do, but I'm excited, you guys. We'll update you. Um, you said to take like. Even by tonight, it'll look so different yes. than now. So, yes. so Yay. excited to see! Yay! Okay, cool. This is just a skin appreciation moment, cause like, come on, <laughs> I'm super swollen. I just got home. Um, yeah, let's go chat, guys. Hey, boys. <laughs> um, yes, I'm back home. I'm actually filming on my phone really quickly. Birkin is like playing in the boxes. Don't mind the mess. Um, I just got a ton of packages because I'm adding on to my little filming studio. So um, I'll show you guys the chair. It's so cute. Oh, I just put it together. Um, yeah, I have some rearranging to do in here too. Moment of appreciation for my OOTD. So cute from Bowen T. Um, I actually had on that like uh, Sasuke kind of gray white jacket with it. Get her just zibuti. Ooh, she's looking thick. <laughs> but yeah, so guys, my lips. Oh my God, this is so crazy. Like you can see where it's working. I mean, it's working already, but it's so crazy. Like the bruises and yeah, we're starting fresh. So wow, wild, wild, wild. Oh my goodness, crazy. So she, like she said, it's gonna go down a lot even between now and tonight, and I actually didn't know this, it's only 24 hours for all of the um, filler to be completely dissolved, but then it just takes longer for everything to settle and kind of for your body to like complete the swelling and adjust. So, crazy. This lighting is so good, you guys. My skin, oh my gosh. I mean, I have a little breakout right here, but hmm. she looking cute. Okay, let me stop. Um, Honestly, guys, it really, really hurt. Um, <laughs> really bad. It hurt. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I had involuntary tears, like, coming down. But um, Gabrielle did make it super comfortable. And, you know, I feel like she made the process as easy as it could be. So I want to talk to you guys more about my thoughts. I do have to jump back on work really quickly, like I said uh so i'm gonna do that and then it's <laughs> so crazy it's like wow wild oh this little heart right here it's like whoa oh my gosh here are my lips you guys <laughs> um i'm so tired it has been a very long day and i will check in with you in the morning but i just wanted to show you they've already gone down so much <laughs> and i have a retainer in so I have a list, so that's great. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. It is a pretty sliding, and I literally just got a haircut, so I had to like show it off. And also, let's talk about lips. But first, let me not be blinded. <laughs> I guess I can show you here in the sun. Um, yeah, they are literally <laughs> so different. So much smaller and I feel like the areas let's see if I can get the focus so I feel like the areas that I was most unhappy with was like this and it's pretty much going away 
are gone, I guess. Um, it's so crazy, my lips. Feeling throwback vibes right now. <laughs> also, my um, dishwasher is going, so we're a little close and personal right now, aren't we? Yeah, so cute hair, right? Yes, I have to learn how to style my bangs, but I literally love them. Obsessed. Lips, guys, the bruising is real. I mean, you can see I'm bruised up here, 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 here. Um, it's definitely way less painful, I think, now. Don't really know if it's gonna keep going down or not. I mean, we're waiting two and a half weeks. One thing she did mention was sometimes if there's like a lot of filler left, um, they'll do like a second dose or a second round of the hyaluronidase. I guess we'll just see as time goes um, how things change. <laughs> And yeah, we'll, we'll just see. It feels like pretty much gone. I think maybe I can feel some here still. Keep you guys updated on like the daily progress, I guess, if I feel like I see big changes um, or more so whenever I feel like it's needed to like check in. But this is the official day after. It has been the 24 hours. Here we are. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, not gonna lie. I feel like the whole thing is just kind of emotional, like, I don't know, when you're dealing with your appearance. Hey, hey, it is Thursday, so a week and two days after I got my lips dissolved. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like they already look so different. It's so wild. I am bare face right now, as you can tell also, so this is just what it is. Um, you know, I am using the selfie camera right now, so I'll obviously have to show you guys like the front camera. Just keep in mind, like, things are probably reversed, I guess. I really just wanted to share my progress. Most of the bruising is gone. I actually don't even know if there's any left. Um, and my lips have gone down. It's been quite the adjustment, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I thought I was just gonna be I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. Like, I, I maybe just thought it wouldn't affect me or I wouldn't feel as emotional as I have about it, I guess, because obviously, like, I don't know, I'm just, I've always had that attitude of confidence and like, you know, I'm that bitch, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm not gonna lie, it has been like, whew, a roller coaster. A lot of things have been coming up for me and I think it's mostly because it's just, there's a couple factors. There's one is that it's the unknown. Like I don't, I've never done this before, so I'm not really sure what to expect um, as the final outcome, I guess. And my hair, you guys, oh my God. I am like, it's time for a wash day. Like we're really, we need that in our life, but it's fine. I don't know what to expect. Like I don't know how my lips are gonna look at the end of this process. Like obviously I have faith that they're gonna look the way I want them to. That's why I'm doing it. Um, but you know, it's still a totally different story when you're like physically looking at yourself and you just look a lot different than you're used to because remember guys i've had fillers for like three years now it's just kind of a lot to process i guess and then the other thing is i feel like being in the digital creator space you're kind of, it's like my industry the beauty community like the beauty space it's all about how you look so i think there's a lot of pressure or but even if it's just like subconscious of like when you get on Instagram and you look through your phone or YouTube or anything it's like naturally I think I just kind of compare myself a little bit subconsciously um so I've had to get really intentional about like the thoughts I'm thinking and how I'm just feeling about my overall self like regardless I know that you know, who I am as a person, my heart, my soul, my mission, like in this lifetime is obviously not connected to the way I look, but also I do care about my appearance. I think just like anybody else. So that being said, you know, it's just kind of like 
ugh. And you know what? You guys get a really fucking raw look at me right now in this video. Not just because of the nature of it, but like, you know, it's a lot of just bare face, bare skin. Not that I, I, I have been on YouTube before plenty of times, most videos without makeup at one point. Um, but you know, you're getting the acne, you're getting the dry skin, you're getting the lips, you're getting everything, you guys. Like, I really do want to share this experience with you guys, even if it's just one person on the internet who maybe is, you're watching this right now and you're doing the same exact thing, or you're thinking about dissolving your lips and starting over or just dissolving totally and you're afraid and you don't know like what, how you're gonna look or like what you're gonna feel like. Um, hopefully I can just share my experience and let you know that like, one, you're not alone, and two, you're beautiful no matter what. That being said, I wanna talk a little more about why I decided that I totally wanted to dissolve my fillers in the first place. So um, I kept my cheek filler, that is still there, but for my lip fillers, I just felt like, <sighs> uh, I've been kind of avoiding getting to this part. So, <clears throat> I really liked my previous injector. I still adore her and hold her in high regard. There was a point at the last time where she injected me that I felt like I had voiced some concerns to her about the way my lips were looking and she kind of had dismissed it more as that's just your face and didn't really fix my con what I was looking at and seeing as the issue if that makes sense <sighs> so I I waited like I said I think I mentioned this earlier I haven't had anything done to my lips since that last um time which will be almost a year now and it, I was getting to the point where I'm like I want more filler but I'm not happy with how they're looking I didn't like how you know, lip filler, if you didn't know this and you're watching this, lip filler is made up of hyaluronic acid. It no normally occurs in the body. It also dissolves over time. So your body metabolizes the lip filler, um, you know, naturally. That is, you know, it can only metabolize so much in a certain amount of time, I guess. So if you get a lot, like, very frequently and it's not done with the correct technique it really metabolize quickly and it can kind of start to like shift into places that maybe it shouldn't um just because if you're putting too much in a place that like shouldn't be there in a way that shouldn't be there and if you've watched my other videos about um lip filler the way they place the needle the angle the amount like everything the motion it's all connected to how your lips are gonna look in the end. Because I felt like my concerns weren't really addressed, in my opinion, that was the time when it would have been appropriate for her to tell me that we need to dissolve your lips and start over. As awful as it is, <laughs> as annoying as it is, you know, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to go through that. Nobody wants to be like, oh, I paid all this money. Or even if like for me, for example, sometimes I was getting it for free since I worked there, like, you know, <clears throat> nobody wants to, it, it's just not like an appealing choice. However, in my opinion, you know, looking good long term is more important to me than like two weeks or a month of dissolving my lips and getting it right. So um, that is why I've done my research for a while. Honestly, since the last time I got my lips done, I've been looking around on Beauty Culture Med Spa in Bloomfield Hills, um, and Jessica, the main injector there. I just fell in love with her work. I actually was introduced to her from my previous injector when I worked for her, um, just as like a fellow, you know, person in the industry. Um, so I had been following her work for a while and I really like her overall messaging and like a viewpoint of aesthetic procedures. She's very much about the beauty from within and the reason, understanding like the reasoning of why people get things done 
and really empowering her clients. I had also noticed that she was really open about talking about dissolving filler which I think is kind of uncommon to see. Um, I have started to see it a little more now and maybe just because I've been looking for it more, but that made me feel comfortable. Like, okay, this is something that she supports. She's really all about getting it right. And then I found Gabrielle, who you guys met earlier in this video, and I just totally fell in love with her work. Um, you can really study somebody's before and after photos and notice their injecting style and kind of the aesthetic that they give it's just like a makeup artist like you notice their kind of look and in my opinion if you're doing it right you know it's it's about it's not about achieving this one lip it's about making it their face but better and she does that so good every time hands down i decided to book my consultation and just see ask her her opinion what did she think about dissolving my filler and i already had just had this intuitive feeling that like that was going to be the route i wanted to go thankfully i really appreciated her honesty she was super open straightforward vocalized the concerning points on my face that i had the same viewpoint and so that was really nice because hearing it from someone else it makes you know like they're being honest and telling you the truth um yeah and i just i really clicked i really like her energy i'm sure you guys can kind of tell through the video like meeting her already she's really great just very genuine and she really cares about her patients and doing it the right way so before I show you guys my concerns with my lips, like super specifically, I'm sure you're probably watching maybe at this point and either you've noticed, like if you're in the industry um, uh, and you are really familiar with, I have a hair on me. If you're in the industry and you're really familiar with p picking out asymmetries, you probably already have seen the areas that we're kind of targeting. Um, if not, you know, I'll, show it to you oh my god i can't believe i'm this is like so vulnerable to the internet you guys but like i said if it helps just one person one person maybe you're that one person and you're like feeling kind of like maybe i should do it i don't know listen to me girl like trust your gut if you think in any certain way just go get a consultation with someone that you trust do the research put in the time when we finish up Oh my god, you guys. I'm sure I kind of told you already, but like it really fucking hurt so bad. Like, whew, it was rough. It was not fun. I'm not going to lie to you and say it was a walk in the park. Like, it really sucked. Worse than filler, obviously, because you're dissolving it out of your face, literally. So, mm, it was burny, stingy, but she did work very quickly and in a way that was like, she was communicating with me, checking in. It's worth it. I mean, beauty is pain, bitch. Like, <laughs> she had mentioned to me, um, hey girl, we might want to do, um, you know, depending on the person, sometimes people get a second round and it's not as much as the first round. It's just little here and there, but depending on the person, we may have to do, you know, another round of dissolving and that means another two two and a half three weeks um before you get your filler back so guess what your girl sent her progress pictures and i already had a suspicion i'm like i'm gonna have to do it twice i just know yeah we kind of already found places that were like it we're gonna need to do it again which as she told me and I agreed it's like if I'm gonna do this I want to do it the right way and to me like I would rather have you know smaller lips for a month than look botched for the rest of my life not that I was like majorly botched by any means but that's kind of how it happens is if you just ignore something and you keep covering it up and covering it up and adding more filler and adding more filler eventually you're gonna get a duck lip it's not gonna look cute your filler is gonna have transferred like up into your stash like just the whole thing so yeah that's where we're at this is like so crazy to me that i'm showing you my insecurities um 
but at the same time it's like I don't want them to be insecurities I just feel like it is what it is and <laughs> we're gonna fix it all I know is I'm trying to age like Kim K like she looks so good over 40 and I'm just if that's what's gonna be my journey and I want to look like me ageless soft beautiful I need to keep myself in check and when it comes to getting procedures done and stuff, be really conscious that, you know, you look the way you want to look. Um, yeah, you take anything away from this, so. In two weeks and two days, I think, if I'm doing the math right. Um, what's up? I'm here again. No makeup, nothing. I'm breaking out in all of my glory. I don't know what the F is going on with my skin. I haven't struggled in a minute. I come to the conclusion that I want to break this up into two parts because I'm going tomorrow as I'm filming this will be the next day from now that I will be going and getting the second round of dissolving done. Um, I just feel like making the vlog into two parts will keep it more current so you guys can kind of keep in check with what I'm going through as I'm going through it rather than like waiting a whole month to update you on like what's going on i already kind of know the areas but we'll talk more with her um when i see gabrielle for my appointment to continue the dissolving and i'll also talk to you guys about cost and all of those things that i know you're gonna have questions about in part two i would say the pain lasted the the pain was just during the procedure it was then just like sore and tender for maybe like the next two three days and then i was bruised as you guys saw um, but all of my bruising is completely gone now. I think that's where fillers and cosmetic procedures get a bad rap is when people go way too overboard. They don't correct things as they go. They're not cautious. They're not like being really critical of their own face. And they're, instead of like being willing and open to going back and correcting, they would rather just keep piling and piling and piling filler and procedures and all this stuff to where then you get that really like obviously plastic look. You guys have questions about actually just what are dermal fillers, th what is Botox, blah, 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 blah. I don't think I've actually done a video about what is Botox. I've done Botox vlogs where I talk about it, but yeah, there's tons of videos on my channel you guys can check out. Um, and if you have specific questions that you feel like those don't answer or you just want like an updated one or whatever, let me know and I can make some more videos on that. And honestly, guys, this has just been, I was telling my boyfriend last night, like, you know, how I'm about to go tomorrow and all that stuff to do a second round. And I'm like, yeah, this is turning into like a longer process than I thought. And it's just requiring a lot of extra self-love and kindness to myself through this process because you know it's really obviously I'm going through so much changing my appearance so yeah it's it's a journey and I'm I'm happy that I am sharing this with you because I haven't found anyone on the internet sharing this process in this way um, talking about like the emotional side of it or the other things that I've only seen like a few vlogs here and there and they don't really show like the full process. I feel like the girls I've seen who do dissolve their lips, they kind of like, I don't want to say hide from the camera, but they're just not as like active or out there on stories or, um, pictures or things like that. And I don't blame them because I, I felt that way and I still feel that way a little bit where I'm just like, I, I don't really want to be posting on like Instagram or Snapchat or TikTok. Um, but now here I am on YouTube with no filters, just a video camera and my face. So I guess that kind of defeats the whole point. So that's why I'm doing this because if you're watching this, I, I want to help another person who is going through what I'm going through. I don't know why I'm like getting emotional right now. Like, am I supposed to get my period or something? <laughs> like, I guess it's just like, it's an emotional process because 
as women, like our whole lives, we are conditioned to feel like our worth is in our appearance. And you know, you can do as Kalani, you can do as much like self work and love and all that stuff. But when it comes to how you feel about the way you look, like it really is important. And that's why I think like I really love you know, I support people who choose to do things to their body. I support people who choose to do nothing to their body. And I think like, or face rather, um, or body or whatever. <laughs> but I think that like, everybody deserves to just feel good in their own skin and whatever that means for you. You know, if it's coloring your hair or cutting your hair or getting lash extensions or getting lip filler or getting tattoos or getting a boob job or whatever it is that makes you feel good, like you deserve that. And so this is like such an interesting process of the dissolving because it's taking back the layers, you know, that I put there to feel good in the first place. Don't get me wrong, like I love myself in any way, shape and form. Like I really do just adore myself and it, it really just forces you to look on the inside and see, <sighs> you know, like, God, I don't know why I'm so like emotional about this. <laughs> like all of a sudden I've already, trust me, I've had my cries, my breakdowns, like, oh my God, like full of tears and everything. But I guess just talking about it, you know, it's like pulling up those emotions and stuff again. And it's like, this is when you realize, like when you pull back the things that you do that make yourself feel good and you're like stuck with that and you have to sit there with that you look on the inside and see like, I'm still that beautiful soul. Like that's who I am, the outside doesn't matter. And that's really freeing, you know? And I think not enough women like have somebody tell them that. And even me, I never had anyone tell me that. I just had to like figure it out, you know? as I'm going through this process. So I just want to say like, if you're watching this and you know, don't be afraid to peel back the layers because ultimately like number one, how you look in the long run is what's important. And you know, a month of like smaller lips or whatever it may be like taking your boobs out, like your health, your overall appearance, like that's what's important in the long run. And what's even more important than that is who you are on the inside because that will never change as long as, you know, you stay true to who you are and, and believe in that person. And I just, I just want to give you a hug if you're ever facing this or feeling this way or, you know, it makes me really sad when I see girls on the internet that like, oh my God, this is getting into a whole other thing. <laughs> You know, I am guilty of this. Like I wiped my Instagram of any pictures of me like pre-lip filler for the most part. Um, and I've seen girls on the internet like put themselves down and, you know, say, ew, like me before lip filler or like stuff like that about their own self, their own photos. Now there's a cat hair in the camera. <laughs> um, and just be kind of like ashamed of who they were like before the enhancements and like, I look back at myself, you know, however many years ago, and I just think, like, I'm still that same, like, boss bitch. Like, I still have that that spirit, that soul, everything of who I am that I am today. The only thing that has changed is the physical, but, the, but changing the physical doesn't change the inside. And so at the end of the day, like, yes, it's cosmetic, but... If it makes you feel good, great, but don't be afraid to scale back and maybe make some adjustments and do some corrections, even if that means having a temporary change in your appearance for the long term, like positive outcome is what I'm trying to say. Don't be afraid to, because you're still human. You're still that beautiful person that you are you know, getting rid of the filler or the implants or anything, like it's not going to change you. And it, I know it's scary. Trust me, like 
I've been afraid you guys to do this process and I know I come off as like super confident and I am but it's like you also go through these moments where you're, you're processing everything and it's unknown and I haven't you know done this before and that's where a lot of the emotion comes from and I'm really grateful that I do have such wonderful people in my life like my boyfriend if he's watching this he knows like he's had some really he's kind of pushed me to have really deep conversations about this with him and that in turn has allowed me to reflect even deeper on myself and I'm so grateful for that but it is it is emotional and that's why I'm here crying because like as women like that's you know this pressure of like how we look is is really tied to our self-worth from society and even though you can be actively unlearning that and going against that your whole life it doesn't take away that outside pressure and I just mean it's a journey to get to being okay with that Whew. I did not know I was gonna cry and I did not know it was gonna take this turn when was the last time I cried on YouTube, you guys? Oh my god, probably like when I started my channel. <laughs> like, like three years ago. Oof. There's, I think I already mentioned this, like my injector said she has patients who like should dissolve and they won't. And all I'm saying is, it's okay. Your fillers, your implants, your procedures, they don't define who you are. And if it's going to cost you a little bit of time and looking a little different than you would prefer for you know a small amount of time to look better for a longer amount of time it's so worth it it's so worth it and you are worth it to love yourself through that process don't hide behind the bad filler the bad implants or whatever you know, do it. And I, I actually, you know what, that's so honest is I've seen people talk about it, but they're very like subtle and coy and short and they brush through it and oh, I'm doing this, but they don't show you this process. They don't show you the in between. They don't show you the emotional, how you feel, like what it's like waking up and seeing yourself look different and, and all the things. So So what's up YouTube? I'm back. Bet you didn't think I'd have another vlog coming so soon. <laughs> if you're watching till the end of this, Lord. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say, honestly, but I'm excited. I'm excited for this, this process. I'm excited for you guys to be here with me and seeing the journey and the end result and still seeing that I have that same soul and spirit like throughout all of it, because it really is not about the outside, it's about what's on the inside. And it's okay to still care about your appearance and what you look like on the outside, even if you love yourself on the inside. <laughs> I actually think both are very important. <sighs> and after all that, I need to rehydrate. I'll be filming tomorrow, but you won't see it until, you know, another like two weeks have gone by. But in the meantime, subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, share it with somebody who needs to see this. If you, know someone who may be struggling with something like this or you just think they could benefit from learning or hearing my story, share it with them, please, because that's what I'm here to do is to connect with you guys. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that this can help at least just one person. So give this video a thumbs up if you like me, if this resonates with you, if you just are a supporter, a subscriber, you want to help you girl out, like this video, subscribe, share it with someone who needs it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.